All right, what's up clowns? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. This time we're having a battle against Michael and disclaimer guys, I realize that Michael is not the best battler in the world, but this battle is pretty funny. I'm using an Inu team revolving around Felstinger Quillfish, which I thought was fucking hilarious. I actually got this team from Pokeaim and I wanted to show it to you guys because I thought it would be pretty funny. But uh, look at Michael's team, he is definitely not bringing an Inu team. This guy, he has some threats on his squad, but like I said before, Michael's not the greatest battler in the world. But this battle was funny nonetheless, and I think you guys will really enjoy it. Alright, so the battle begins. I'm going to lead off with my Uxie, as Michael is going to lead off with his Ditto. So right here, this tells me he's not Impostor Ditto, because he does not change forms right away. So when I saw that, I was like, okay, it's just going to be one of those battles, so I'm just going to fuck around. So I'm going to go ahead and set up some rocks here, as he's basically going to have to transform here. <laughs> so I was actually a little bit afraid of this Ditto uh, before I saw that he didn't even have Impostor. But uh, I was thinking he was going to be Choice Scarf like most Ditto, but he's actually not because somehow I outspeed him. So I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to go ahead and bring in Tight Pussy, which is my uh, Lipard here. So Lipard has the ability Prankster, so any non-attacking moves have priority. So he's actually going to go for the U-turn here. It is super effective, but Uxie does not have the greatest attack stat in the world. So it does a solid amount to Lipard just because it's super effective and all, but that's fine. So he's going to bring out his Kamo'o, I think that's what that thing is. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to go for the Rain Dance here. I'm actually sacking off Lipard because I don't need it for anything really. Um, <laughs> I kind of plan on Felstinger, Quillfish, or Ludicolo doing something to his team here. So he's going to go ahead and Sky Uppercut me the fuck out of here. So Tight Pussy's going to go down. He just fisted my pussy, but that's fine. I'm going to bring out good old Juan Solo, <laughs> the fucking Ludicolo. Oh my god, I love fucking Ludicolo, fucking pineapple looking ass. So I'm gonna go for the, the Ice Beam here, it's super effective but unfortunately it does not KO because this thing actually does have some decent bulk on it. Um, so he's just gonna go for a Clanging Scales here, it actually does an okay amount of damage I guess, I mean, I don't know, he's not Life Orb or anything, so, and I actually am, so I'm gonna go for another... Ice Beam as he does not want to lose his Kamo'o, he's actually going to swap out here. He brings out Jackson, which is the top of Coco, and Ice Beam with a Life Orb Modest Ludicolo is a clean 2-hit KO on the uh, top of Coco here. So there goes Ice Beam number one, brings him to way below half, <laughs> which is awesome. So I don't have to risk missing a Hydro Pump here, <laughs> which is always nice because knowing me, of course. I have the worst luck in the world when it comes to these fucking games. So a second Ice Beam, like I said, is going to kill off the top of Coco, and I'm taking some serious damage due to my Life Orb. He's going to bring out the Ditto now, and like I said before, this Ditto is not a threat whatsoever. I don't know if this guy just doesn't have a Imposter Ditto or what, I, or maybe he brought the wrong Ditto, I have no idea. But anyway, Hydro Pump is going to go ahead and knock this Ditto the fuck out of here. And then he's gonna bring in his next Mon, which I believe is the, is it the Fire thing? No, it's Skyrex, what is this? That is the Decidueye, so I'm gonna go for an Ice Beam here, it's super effective. I was actually expecting it to Oko, but Decidueye apparently is pretty bulky. And he lives with like fucking 1 HP and he's not even, he's not even Focus Sashed. Um, and actually even if he was Focus Sashed it wouldn't work because of the Stealth Rocks. But he's gonna Spirit Shackle, that's gonna kill off one solo. And now it is time, ladies and gentlemen, for the fun to begin. So I know my rain is just about to wear out here, but that's fine. Quillfish with, with max speed investment actually outspeeds um, at least half of his team. So I'm going to go for the Felstinger here while my rain is up. And uh, what Felstinger does is it's a really weak bug attack, but if it gets a KO, it raises your attack by three stages. So now my Quillfish has monstrous attack. And it's in the rain for one more turn. So the next one he sends out is going to be Drago. So he's basically just sacking this thing off. Quillfish is about to claim some lives here. Holy shit. So we're going to go for a Poison Jab here. If I wanted to be that guy, I probably could have gone for another Fell Stinger there. I wasn't sure if it would kill though. Um, I mean, eh, from that range it probably would have killed. But I don't need any more attack. Quillfish is a god on its own. So he's going to bring out his... Uh, Incineroar here, but I actually outspeed him because I have max speed investment and I'm gonna go ahead even <laughs> Quillfish doesn't even need the rain to be a badass 
<laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and waterfall. That is going to obliterate this Incineroar, <laughs> Incineroar, whatever. We actually get a crit there. That crit totally did not matter whatsoever. Um, and then his last mon is Wolf, and I wanted to style on this guy, so... Well, actually, he's gonna style on me real quick. He actually pops the Z-Crystal, um, and it goes for the Continental Crush on me, but I actually resist that, and Quillfish actually has okay defense, which allows me to actually live this, which is wild. So, it's gonna bring me... I think it brings me into the red, so it almost kills me, but luckily, like I said before, Quillfish is fucking god tier. <laughs> Cool fish for Ubers, guys. So, he's gonna smash me on some rock. <laughs> but, uh, cool fish is gonna eat that with 23 HP. I style on this man. I go for the explosion. Even though it's resisted, Lycanroc has ass defense. And I'm at, like, plus a million attack right now. So, <laughs> explosion's gonna kill him. And that is a semi quill fish sweep with a little bit of, uh, Ludicolo action. So,. Like I said, this guy wasn't the best battler in the world, but I thought the battle was funny nonetheless, just because of the team I was using. This is not a great team by any means, but it's it's hilarious when it works. So leave a like if you did if you enjoyed this video. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links as always are in the description below. I'm always looking for battles and stuff, so hit me up there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, guys. I love you. Peace out.